All righty, guys. So it's time for another SoFi stock update as we are slipping a little bit in the red right now. So I want to break down the charts, go over where I'm looking to buy even more SoFi. As you guys know, I did buy some yesterday. I want to go over where I'm looking to buy even more and we'll break down the indexes, which were all in the green earlier. Now we're slowly slipping into the red. So we have a jam packed video. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and you guys might as well get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, each up to $2,000. Fund your account with at least 100 bucks. Using that link down below, you get five stocks. And fund it with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. Again, each up to $2,000. So get on it, guys. The clock is ticking. Use that link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash Moomoo. And with that being said, let's dive into it. So it's currently about 3.20 p.m. on the East Coast. So we're pretty much halfway through power hour right now now and SoFi is down over 2%. Now it's at $7 and it looks like 60 cents and we've pretty much been downtrending all day. I mean, look, in the pre-market we did see a little bit of upside. We did see a bit of an uptrend actually in the pre-market, but once the market's opened up, guys, today, uh SoFi dumped off like crazy from 795 roughly all the way down to 765, so we trimmed about 30 cents there. And, uh, well, we've been selling off pretty much ever since, right? Again, lower highs, lower lows all throughout the day. And that's in the midst of an overall uh, mixed bag day for the indexes here. We had the Russell up earlier today, uh, but now it's down 0.6%. You guys can see we were at 2,000 points at open. Now we're at 1965, so the Russell has lost almost 2% since open, and we have the NASDAQ up 0.6%, which is nice, but earlier in the day, it was up even more. I think at one point, it was up 1.5, 1.6%, something like that, so we're slipping a bit on the NASDAQ. Same thing on SPY, which is the S&P 500. You guys know this is now up 0.1%, but earlier in the day, it was up close to 1%, 0.8, 0.9% uh, percent to be exact, and really, ever since about uh, let's see, 1 p.m. to two and a half hours ago, we've fallen off a cliff here on SPY and pretty much on Triple Q as well. And the Dow's down 0.1% after being at 38,000, over 38,000 uh, this morning. Now it's at 37,850. So indexes are slipping, which if you guys pull back the uh, pull back the layers a bit, we're still up trending on the five day on the Dow, right? Spy is still looking pretty good on the five day as well. Triple Q, so relax. In fact, Spy just hit an all time high earlier today. Same thing with Triple Q. So really, this is not the end of the world at all. All we're doing is seeing a bit of a pullback here, heading into close. This looks like normal business in my opinion. And on SoFi, if I pull this up, SOFI, if you guys didn't know, is the ticker, right? Uh, it's down 2%. Like we said, down 2% on the day. We have a death cross. We're actually under the lows from yesterday on the five-day chart. You guys can see now we have a death cross, and uh, pretty much we're trading in this little downwards channel over the past couple of days. You guys see that right there and now we're actually more towards the bottom of that channel so maybe we get some sort of recovery but really these next couple of days guys <laughs> it's kind of like the calm before the storm as you all know we have earnings in five days from today this upcoming monday uh, we're going to get SoFi's earnings, which are heavily anticipated. I'm super excited uh, for the earnings. And of course, we're going to break them down here on the channel. And you'll notice here on the five day, five minute chart, if I draw this line out, we are actually dipping under this spot, which roughly is at 765. Yeah, that was the high from the 18th about a week ago. So that should have held or I mean, in, in a perfect world for the Bulls. That would have held as support, uh, but we're you know dumping under that. Not the best sign, I'd argue, in the short term. Uh, so let's see. Maybe we start slipping down. <clears throat> excuse me, towards uh, you know 750. Maybe it goes a little bit lower than that, uh, which you guys can see 750 roughly. If I zoom in right here, that's where we were pre-market on the 19th, so five days ago. Uh, that could be the next spot we test. And if that point breaks, guys, we start making our shot towards the 720 level, which is where we were 
on the 19th and on the 18th, both of, the, uh, both of those days, we kind of double bottom there. If we do break 745, 750, that's where we could probably go next. We might fill that gap down uh, to 720, at least in my personal opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? And that's kind of where I'm looking to buy uh, next. As you guys know, I bought more SoFi yesterday. And yes, I am down on those shares that I bought uh, yesterday, but it's not a big deal. You know, I'm holding these for the long term, as you guys know. And I bought at 775. Now we're at 760, right? So it's not the end of the world. I mean, my average cost was under $7. Uh, before yesterday's buy and at this point man if it does dip under you know 750 let me put my alert mark is at or below that's where i'm gonna be buying uh nabbing up some more sofi stock guys probably in that 720 730 window and who knows maybe we break 720 which is the low here from again a couple of days ago if that spot breaks we could be going even lower which means lower prices uh, for me, I, I don't know about you guys. I'm not telling you what to do, but for me, I'm looking to buy more, um, you know, under seven dollars as well. If we get there, of course, it's not guaranteed with earnings coming up. Uh, anything could really happen at this point. We don't know. Uh, but overall, that's a quick breakdown here on the five day, five minute on the 10 day chart. If I clear the drawing set to make it look a little bit better. Now we're actually slipping under the 180 SMA, which isn't the best sign here for the bulls and could really uh, mean more selling to come. Like, like we talked about a second ago, uh, we could be going down even more. So this is a sign that Maybe, uh, you know, maybe more selling is on the horizon. So we are dumping under the 50 and the 180 SMAs on the 30 minute chart and on the 20 minute chart. Uh, looks like clearly we got or the 20 uh, 20 day chart. Excuse me. Um, uh, looks like clearly we got rejected right at that moving average, which we have been getting rejected over the past couple of weeks, pretty much all year right now on SoFi. So that's not the best sign, to be honest. Uh, for the bulls here, the fact that we uh, we failed to break out of this spot. And let me show you maybe the four-hour chart. Let's pull this up. Now we can see again uh, we're failing to break above that 180 SMA, 50 SMA as well. We have a death cross here actually on the four-hour chart, which I'm not loving. But again, I'm in this as a long-term investment. And by I'm not loving, I mean... From, from a short-term perspective, right? If I were looking to go long as a swing trade right now, this really isn't the best setup right here, um, you know, which is why I'm not really looking to swing trade it. But again, if it does break down, it offers value as a long-term investment, which is the way I'm treating um, SoFi right now. So what do you guys think about that? Looks like we could be getting some more red uh, here moving forward. Again, I'm looking to buy more low sevens, high sixes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as always, guys. And when it comes to some other stocks here that are moving, what do you know? NVIDIA's up yet again. This thing's at, uh, what, 612 right now. Earlier, it was at 628, another all-time high. And it's not like we have earnings coming up or anything for this company. Their earnings are reported or uh, set to be reported on, it looks like, the 21st, which is pretty much a month away from now. Uh, so it's not like we're getting hype around earnings. I mean, it's crazy. This thing just keeps on going. And AMD probably, you know, is is part of the reason why NVIDIA is running because AMD set to report earnings here in a couple of days, actually, six days from today. So not this, uh, you know, not next Wednesday, but what, next, uh, next, uh, crap, next uh, Tuesday. Yeah, next Tuesday. Uh, we have NVIDIA, or uh, AMD, excuse me. So there's some hype around these stocks in general, but man, did I think that we're going to start 2024 like this? Not necessarily, but uh, yeah, AMD's up 5% today. NVIDIA's up big time, like I said as well, over 2%. It just keeps on trucking along. Uh, so yeah, what do you guys think about the markets? SoFi, NVIDIA, AMD, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe as well if you guys want to. We're trying to get the 50,000 subs this year. And don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo up to 15 stocks. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Open up your account. Fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks. And fund it with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks. And the thing is, 
is, guys, each of those could be valued up to $2,000. This is a no-brainer. Get on it. Use that link down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys later.